When you look at the, the Middle East, you and I have talked about this before, it seems as though... And, and by the way, the, the Arab states, again, this unnamed, the Arab states, unnamed, agree with me. So we are just about to name them. Um, <laughs> It, 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 it seems as though... You want to name the unnamed states. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Go ahead, name the unnamed states. It seems as though Israel is today in a closer strategic alliance with Saudi Arabia and Egypt than at any point um, in its history, and that at this point, that is the defining feature of the Middle East, a kind of anti-Iran alliance in which Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Israel are the, are the crucial players. Would you agree? I'd agree that there's an alignment of uh, Israel and other countries in the Middle East that would have been unimaginable uh, 10 years ago. And certainly in my lifetime, uh, I never saw anything like it. Uh, and I'm at the age of the state of Israel, more or less. So uh, it's an extraordinary thing. Yes, it starts with a common uh, concern with a common enemy which is radical Islam, either of the radical uh, Sunnis, Daesh, before that Al-Qaeda, which Israel fights uh, and has prevented, by the way, dozens of terrorists, major terrorist attacks, uh, not only in the Middle East, but throughout the world, and saved the lives of many, many citizens because our intel is second to none. And also our common stance against Iran. Uh, uh, that's one source. What is not recognized is that there is another source of this closeness, and it's their desire uh, to make use of the civilian technology that Israel has in water or in agriculture or in IT and other areas to better the lives of health, to better the lives of their citizens. I view that as a great promise for peace. I think that's changing attitudes, not only on the level of the regimes. We poll the Arab world. We see the beginning of changes, significant change in the attitude towards Israel in the Arab publics, not all of them, uh, and not yet majorities, but significant minorities. That's hope. That's a future of peace.